Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. It is great to be here today to celebrate these great mysteries, these great mysteries that Christ has brought to us. But before we begin, let us take time to recall our sins and our failures. Do better prepare ourselves for these mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray. And graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith, an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son who lives and reigns with you, leading to the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. We continue our journey through the Bread of Life discourse in John's Gospel. 
Jesus is the bread of life. He proclaims it very clearly today. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Ponder on that. Ponder on what you will receive at this altar today. Ponder on having Christ live within you. The bread of life in your body. Ponder about the mystery of abiding with Christ and Him abiding in you. This bread of life is something wonderful and beautiful. And we come here today at daily Mass to receive this bread of life. And Holy Mother Church actually gives us a small little restriction. We're, Holy Mother Church only sees us receiving the Eucharist once a day, coming to Mass once a day, not coming three or five times, but once. And why? Because we will be satisfied. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. Do we believe that? When we leave, do we realize that we have received everything that we need today? We received our Lord. No matter what the newscast might say and try to fill us up with anxiety about the future of the world. No matter what's going on in your home, who might be sick, who might be suffering, what arguments might be happening. Here is the fulfillment. Here is everything you need. Come and receive. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Because we all have everything that we need in our Lord Jesus Christ. And then Jesus follows it up, but I told you this, and although you've seen me, you do not believe. So let us ponder on our faith, our faith at the Eucharist, our faith in Christ, our faith in the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And does he give us everything we need? Let us not fill ourselves up with anxiety over what's going on in the world, what's going on in our families. But let us receive that what fulfills us. To know that Christ is with us. That Christ abides in us when we receive this bread of life. And that is our desire to abide in him. Our responsorial psalm, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Is that not where we will be at the end of this mass? Going out into the world, crying out to God with joy that we have received everything that we will ever need. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you to offer you our prayers and our petitions. We pray for Holy Mother Church. May she be a guardian 
May she be a provider of the bread of life. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all public and civic leaders. May they abide in Christ and may Christ abide in them. That they share that love with all, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the suffering. May they find the healing touch from the divine physician. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have gone before us, march with the sign of faith. May they see the face of Christ in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, these are but a few of our prayers and petitions. We humbly ask them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. And we come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let's pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to loud you up more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My God. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you 
process. Therefore, as we celebrate the, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord has risen and shown his light upon us, and whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.